you know what's crazy? It was Tom Brady. I guarantee you would have chose your words wisely. Somebody that's been in journalism for over 40 years knows exactly what to say and how to say it. We ain't talking about an athlete that went into journalism. We talking about somebody that's been in journalism their whole life. He never was an athlete. Not once was he an athlete. So journalism is his thing. Just like basketball is my thing. He knows what he's saying and when he's saying. He not getting no pass for this. But now everybody on his ass, now he want to come with a lame ass apology. And don't come on TV and say, we can't be insensitive to this situation. You wrote that tweet. Nobody else. That no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of the game. This is right in the middle of the vortex of this situation when it was unclear what they were going to do with the game. But I made the point that this late in the season, that with a game of this magnitude, it's very difficult to postpone it. Yet the end of my tweet was, all of which suddenly seems so irrelevant. For the first time in the history of the NFL, my point was, it was all rendered irrelevant by what was happening on the football field in front of all those football players, those gladiators, those warriors. They were shaken to their foundations. So I immediately re I didn't retweet, I just clarified. And I'll state it again, nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my last tweet. I'm sorry if that was misunderstood, but his health is all that matters. Again, everything else is irrelevant. I prayed for him, and I will continue to pray for him. That's what I tweeted at the end of the night. I did pray for Damar and his family. Soon after it happened, and again, before I went to sleep last night, and I didn't sleep much knowing that we did have a show that, that we might or might not do. So now, the NFL has done exactly the right thing they have postponed. I have no idea how they're going to make this game up, and I don't care. All that matters now is that that young man who had his NFL life before him remains in critical condition in a Cincinnati hospital. All that matters. Way to go, NFL. Finally, we were all able to rise above the game of football and, and how important it is in, in many of our lives and say, no, this is all that matters.